sort of set the stage. We're at Trinity Christian School in Coach Sanders' economics class. Uh, it's a senior class here at Trinity Christian School. And my name's Barry Walker. I'm with Nationwide Insurance. Been in the insurance business for 32 years. My dad originally started the agency uh, in his second career after retiring, and we worked together for about 15 years after I got back from college. So this is what I've always done is insurance. And there's nothing more than I enjoy doing than talking to young people uh, about whatever. And this is this only the second time I've had the opportunity to talk to young people about insurance. First time was about an hour and a half ago at the first economics class for Coach Sanders. So, uh, as you can tell, I have nothing prepared. Uh, after 32 years, I ought not to have to write it down, had I? All right, now, this is an economics class. What does it have to do with insurance? Anybody want to answer that? What is insurance? You need money to pay for insurance. Huh? You need money to pay for insurance. You do need money to pay for insurance. Why do you need insurance? In case something happens. Okay. So you'll be covered. So, so in case something happens, so in other words, if it's raining, you need an umbrella to, uh, to protect you against that risk of rain and getting wet. All right. So insurance comes in many forms. As I was telling the class before, baseball coach has a baseball game today. He likes to score runs to ensure a win. And the more runs you score, the better insurance it is that you might win. So insurance comes in many forms. Uh, somebody give me a little bit more, and there is no right, there's, there are complete right answers, but just give me a snid bit of the, the true meaning of insurance in the economic form. I'm going to help you out. It is basically to put you whole again. In other words, you're not at a loss financially. Somebody tell me the different types of insurance. Life insurance. Get up here and write it down for me. Yes, sir. That's, you talked to somebody in another class, didn't you? Um, no, sir. Because that was a, uh, write it down over here, write it big and tall, yes, life sir. insurance. <laughs> well, that might be a little big. <laughs> but it'll work. The next one's under that. We'll, and I like that. And I'll, I'll, no, 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 no. Since you're here. Yes, sir. All right, somebody else give me another insurance. Car insurance. Don't write it as big. Just write it under there. Car yes, insurance. Sir. Just write car. We don't have. To, we know we're talking insurance. <clears throat> it's kind of like Steve Harvey on Family Feud. Yeah, you know, hundred hundred women were asked. All right, we we know it was hundred women, so we don't ask that again. So now we know it's insurance, so we're just gonna write car. All right, what's something else? Home. Home. Somebody else. Boat, health, we heard of boat and health, what else? Huh? Business insurance. Business insurance, very good. All right, anybody else? Motorcycle. Motorcycle insurance? I tell you what, don't just put ATV <clears throat> and, and uh, RV. ATV is all-terrain vehicle. Uh, RV is recreational vehicles, uh, motorcycles, campers, things like that. What's another insurance? Phone insurance. Say that again? Phone insurance. You know what? You don't normally think about that, but you're right. The price of phones these days, and as many times as we drop them in water or drop and break them, that gum Apple 10 is like a $1,000 phone now. Good, Grace. Yeah. Killing me. You got flood insurance. Flood insurance. Very good. All right. Okay. 
right, I heard fire insurance, so, so write that down. That's going to be a type of insurance, uh, a coverage of insurance, all right? Anybody else? <clears throat> Event insurance. Somebody taught you two from that other class? <laughs> well, I'm glad y'all were talking. Mm. Event insurance. <clears throat> What's an event that you would cover? Wedding. Very good. The different types of coverage for wedding insurance. Did you know, let's say you got a, a big wedding and the weather, you can cover against the weather. But did you know that you could cover against it being called off because because the future wife-to-be came to her senses that she didn't need to marry that guy. Now, there is no coverage for a guy if, 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 he's the, uh, if, if she jilts him. I'm just teasing. You can, get it, you can get it either way. But, you know, a lot of people spend a lot of money on weddings. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store, where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. Every morning, you're up at dawn to take care of the land you love. So are we. That's why Kubota dealers are the best at understanding what you need and sending you home with the perfect machine for the job. We know more than equipment. We know you. Freeman's Lawn and Garden. Call us at 272-2198. Uh, another one is, uh, I mentioned to the other class, is a hole-in-one. A golf tournament's going on. One of the car dealerships has a prize where you win a car if you make a hole-in-one. Well, the car dealer could either, either take that risk or he could buy insurance in the event that somebody makes a hole-in-one he pays the premium for the insurance and not the twenty, thirty thousand dollars that vehicle would have cost. Make sense? So it's it's reducing your risk for a financial loss. All right. Now that we've talked about the products, what are some of the coverages that make up some of these? All right. So we know <clears throat> it's somebody's life. That's obvious. But let's say on a car or a home or a boat, it's pretty much the same type of coverages. What do you cover? Medication. Uh, medication. Medication. On health insurance. Yep. Doctor's visits. Yep. Speeding tickets. You pay for the speeding tickets. Uh, the, we will not pay your fine for a speeding ticket. Insurance company will not they do it. They help with, like, if you get in a car accident, they help repair it. And if you get sued for a car accident, they help pay for it. All right. What two coverages did she just point out? Accident. Property coverage that pays for your vehicle or your home, the structure, the vehicle. That's property insurance. She also mentioned in case you hurt someone and they sued you. What is that called? That's right, liability insurance. All right, liability. All right, so you got property, you got liability. All right, so now let's do this. Uh, now, write it over here. All right, property, liability, and of course, life. The cost of, just put cost of medical uh, prescriptions, et cetera. 
All right. <clears throat> so now here's what we're going to do. You have a seat for a second. Oh, yes, sir. I appreciate your help. Go dogs. No problem. Go dogs. <laughs> all right. So, out of all these types of insurance, what would you consider would be the most important? Why do you think life insurance be most important? Why you help your family after you're born? Exactly. All right. Let's exp let's let's expand on that. To help your family, the answer was to help your family after you pass away. Let's let's dive a little deeper. The major breadwinner in the family could be the husband, the dad, or the wife, the mom. could be either one of them. I've, I've seen it both ways. Uh, you, sometimes you have, uh, a lot of times you have both uh, mom and dad working. A lot of times you have just one working. Uh, you, and one staying home. And... Uh, you know, a lot of times I believe I would rather be at work than having to do what the one staying at home is having to do. You know, they're taking care of the house, they're taking care of the kids, or they're going to grocery shopping. That they're, so that job in itself, if they put a price tag on it and you had to pay somebody to do everything that I, I'll call a home engineer does, a stay-at-home parent does, that's a... Forty, fifty thousand dollar a year job, easy. All right, so, so, let's just use the major breadwinner is out of the family. Just think about this today. <clears throat> in our, and this is a conversation that uh, that you can talk to your parents about. It'll it'll show them that that you're interested, uh, and and talk to them that hey, this is something we learned in economics today. And, and take this from your point right now in your life on what happens uh, after I get out of school, I go to college or go to a, a trade school, get a job, start a family. You know, that's, that's where the rubber meets the road. Economics is, is what? It's about finances. It's about money. It's about earning a living. So, the major breadwinner is take pays for helps pay for what? What's a major breadwinner in the family or both workers in the family? What do they help pay for? Insurance, Everything up here. All right? So, boom, car wreck. Heart attack. Unforeseen Whatever. Happens all the time. How many times have y'all heard so-and-so died today? And you may have just saw them not too long ago. We never know. If we knew that, we wouldn't need that. So, we got a house bill. It's called a mortgage. We got a car payment. It's called a lien. We got all these different things that's being paid for. The money stops. What happens? Without enough of that, what happens? It's repossessed. A lot of times bankruptcy. A lot of times selling it. Downgrading. Uh... The home engineer, the one that's keeping a family together, how has to do what? Get a job. Uh, you guys are fortunate enough to go to the school of your choice, which is not free. And you've got all your friends. You may have to change schools. So I argue that that 
over and above may be the most important insurance to have. Hi, I'm Helen Powell. I'm the owner and operator of Careers in Cosmetology. Since I've been enrolled in Careers in Cosmetology, I've learned a lot and I look forward to a bright future in cosmetology thanks to Helen Powell. Hello, my name is Shelly Steff. I have been a stay-at-home mom for 18 years. Coming to school here has been a wonderful blessing. I feel very privileged to come to school. I feel very privileged to know Miss Helen. Anyone that has not been to school, I encourage them to come on. Coming to the school has been a, made a great difference in my life, in my family's life. I just, I really enjoy it. If you want an exciting, profitable career, come see us. Mid-State Pools and Spas knows pools and ground pools to above ground pools. Mid-State Pools and Spas has over 35 years in the industry, building more than 3,000 pools. Now we build all our own pools, never subcontracting to work out. So if you're ready to build a pool, renovate a pool, or you need weekly maintenance or liner replacement with a full 20 year warranty, call the professionals at Mid-State Pools and Spas. Visit our showroom today at 2273 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin and see the new line of Marquee Spas. For the ultimate in hot tub experiences, choose Marquee Spas. Also see our new selection of casual patio furniture available now at our showroom, Mid-State Pools and Spas, where we know pools. If you have enough insurance, what is enough? Enough is to pay off all the debt, get debt free. How much is a college education today? $100,000. How much? $100,000 four years maybe. About $20,000 a year at a public, at, a, you know, at Georgia. It's probably that. Uh, Mercer. $30,000, dollars a year. Uh, private uh, uh, institutions are generally anywhere from twenty to 40000 a year. Tuition, I'm not talking about room and board. All right, so if that money's there, enough for there. So how much life insurance? All right, let's go through this scenario. Uh... Let's say that you're starting out. You've graduated from college. You've got, first of all, y'all enjoy being in high school. Golly, if I could go back to high school, I would stay there forever. Because the real world, it's fun, but it's tough. It's called work. It's a job. Right now, <laughs> y'all don't know how good you got it. All right, so now, you're out of college, you're in the real world, you get a job, you get a career, you get a profession, whatever it is. You meet Mr. and Ms. Wonderful, you get married, and you have little baby wonderfuls. All right, some people call them rugrats, whatever you want to call them. They're precious, all right. You know what they also are? Expensive. They are expensive. So, let's just say a child is born today. In 17 years, how much would it take to pay for a college education? There's a calculation. You can Google it. You can Google anything. If it's on Google, it's true, right? All right. There's apps for that. Uh, arguably... $200,000 to $400,000 for a four-year college education if a child's born today. So how much life insurance do you need? How many kids you got? They going to college. So what is a good number? A lot of people say $50,000 life insurance is good. $100,000 is good. A million is good. Five million is good. There is a number for everybody that is right or close, or a good estimate. Always overestimate the amount that you need. All right, so right there, let's say you got two kids. So you're looking, let's just say $400,000, 200000 each by the time they go to college. Boom. 
Let's say you had a $200,000 mortgage. Now you're looking at $600,000. Boom. Uh, let's say a $20,000 vehicle. And we, we're going, you know, let's just say every four years. Let's calculate it. All right. Now, the big one. What is your annual income? Somebody throw out an annual income. 50? 60. 60. Let's back it down to 50 for dummies like me for easy math. All right. <clears throat> so do you need it for one year? That income, $50,000 for one year? After one year, what, what, what are we doing? Where, where are we getting the money? Two years? How long is that going to last? Any idea on how much you need to cover your income? approximately seven to ten times the amount. That's what the insurance experts say. The actuarials, the statisticians, the statistics people. By the way, you want a high paying job? Go into actuarial science. Starting out about $150,000, $200,000 a year to figure all this out. And if you go into that, let me know, and I can hook you up with a guy who can point you in the right direction for a job. Actuarial science. Sounds exciting, don't it? Ah, it's so daggone boring. <laughs> that's why they pay so much. But that's where these insurance companies come up with what to charge premiums because there's numbers to it. All right, so $50,000, 10 years, 10 Ten times the amount's what? Five hundred thousand. So somebody making fifty thousand dollars a year with two kids with a two hundred thousand dollar mortgage, you're looking at needing one point two million dollars of life insurance. Now what do you do with that money? Well you pay off your debt, you stick the rest of it in a, a an account that can earn you a very conservative interest rate. The better your interest rate, the less life insurance you need, or either the more money it will make you. And the idea is to not to spend that 500000 that you got to replace your income, but you live off the interest on it and the higher interest rate. And it's got to be safe. It's got to be conservative but not so safe that it's, it's not drawing you anything, like a checking account. You don't need a checking account. And some of my friends, the bankers, may be watching this show, so I'm not going to say, you know, a passbook savings is not a good place. If you have enough money in it, yeah, it may be. Uh, CDs are doing some things, uh, not, not great, but there's a lot, of, a lot of places that can get you a safe, modest return of, of uh, that can help you. So that's, that's my spill on life insurance. It's generally, in the last class, it was the last thing said, but I think it was the, said this time because they'd done talk to y'all about it at, at lunch, which is good. I mean, that's encouraging that y'all talk about what we talked about and hopefully you talked about the message and not the messenger because messenger is flawed, okay? Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Dublin Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics.
0% financing and we'll just add it to your bill. Start saving today. It only makes sense. The City of Dublin Natural Gas. What other insurance you want to talk about? How much time we got, Goat? 25 minutes. All right. Let's talk about home first. And then let's talk about uh, the car. Because I want y'all to really remember the car part. It's all important. All right. Home insurance. Who wants to get up here and write on the board for me? I know I'm hearing footsteps coming up here. There we go. Here. All right. Right, just home right there. Willie, I didn't see you back there. What's up? Heading from the camera. All right, home insurance. What makes up home insurance? Damages. Huh? Damages? Like protection against damages. Protection against damages. All right, let's talk about the specific items that you have to protect on your home. And it, once I say this one, I think you'll start getting the others. The structure itself. So, so let's just go with that. We're going to call this one the structure. What is the structure? The house. All right. How do you insure the house? Why do you insure the house? How much do you insure the house for? Somebody tell me how much you insure your house for, a house for. Do you, do you insure it for the amount you can sell it for, the amount you bought it for, the amount you owe on it? How, what do you insure it? The amount it's worth could be the amount you sell it for. All right. Very good. <laughs> you insure it at the replacement value. All right. Why do you insure it at replacement value? Because it can be different than the amount you owe on it, right? All right. You could have owned it for 30 years and you don't owe anything on it. So why insure it at all? Because you have to replace it. So there's a calculation. Everything's got a calculation. There's an app for that too, by the way. Calcul a, a replacement cost calculation that we do on every house to determine the replacement cost generally falls based on square footage. Is every home the same value of replacement cost? No. no. Because of why? Square footage, not all the same color. Exactly. Square footage is different. The way it's finished out, some could have tile floors. Others could have hardwood floors. Hardwood, a little bit more expensive than tile, maybe. Yeah. Carpet, different grades of carpet. Uh, countertops can be finished out differently. So basically, the replacement cost can be across the board. So we figure the replacement cost. So put RC right there, replacement cost. What's another component that, that is covered on homeowner's insurance? Huh? Exactly. The contents, the personal belongings. All right. Put now. Put it right here. Put uh, just put C for contents. All right. Normally, let's just use. We're gonna call this one. Put uh, 100k. We're gonna say this house is valued at hundred thousand dollars. Why are we saying that? Easy math. I need that easy math. Now, y'all, we could use a bunch of different numbers, and y'all know it like that. I got to stick to the easy stuff. All right, I like that little hour. Contents. 
if we're insuring this at 100000 on most homeowners' policies, you get a percentage. It's generally around 70%. Some are 75 some are 50%, but we're going to go with 70%. So if we covered contents at 70% of 100000 that would be what? 70,000, so put 70K. <clears throat> That's for shorthand, too. All right. Now, what else makes up home insurance? We got the home, we got the contents, house burns down. What you got to do? Rebuild. You got to rebuild it. We got that taken care of. Got your contents taken care of. Where we're going to live while it's being rebuilt. Put LOU, loss of use. You know how much coverage is built into this house insured at 100000 Actual amount not to exceed 12 months. So in other words, let's say we got a, a 2,000 square foot house, which that would be low. Uh, let's just say it though, a 2,000 square foot house and to rent one it was going to cost $2,000 a month. So where's that $2,000 a month coming from? Here. Okay. You, if your house is paid for you wouldn't have been paying for rent anywhere so the insurance company is going to help you pay for it or pay for it. Or if you got a mortgage and you're paying $2,000 a month mortgage, now you got to go rent somewhere, you would have another $2,000 a month mortgage, may put a pinch on the, the economics and the family household budget, hadn't it? Yeah. So put, uh, put ACV slash 12 MO, actual cash value for 12 months. 12 MO? Yeah, for 12, yeah. That's kind of just so it sinks in. I'm a visual type person. I remember things better if I see it. That makes sense? You ever thought about that? It's real world. Real world boring, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I see a few yawns. Coach, we should have should have got them uh, some energy drinks instead of uh, lunch. <laughs> All right, what else is built up in homeowners? <clears throat> that falls under the category of a liability, okay? So she mentioned liability insurance. Just put liability. Now, what does that protect you or if somebody comes onto your property? Let's say you got a swimming pool. Some, and you've done everything in the world. You got a fence around it. It's, you got a lock on it. But some jarhead came, jumped your fence, got in your pool, and drowned. Are you liable? May be, may not be. But because the good attorneys that we've got, they're going to, you're going to get sued and you're going to have an attorney represent you and they're going to argue, as a prudent person, I did everything that I could do to protect my property. It's not my fault. You could win or you could lose. But either way, you got what? You got liability insurance that pays for the attorney to protect you in that lawsuit. Okay? So, if you lose, not only do you have the attorney fees you got to pay, but you got to reward the other party for the damages, for, in that case, the death. So, liability insurance covers you against acts that you either caused or were party to. That makes sense? Comes in the form of put a 100K, 300K, 500K, and 1M. 
as 100,000, 300,000, 500,000, or a million. Those are the increments that you can buy it in. And it's all built into this homeowner's package. So let's just say that we had a, this packaged up and we had 100,000. And let's say that the premium was $500 to purchase this whole policy. If you went up to 300,000, how much premium do you think your total premium would go up? The whole package is 500. Now we're going from 100,000 to 300,000. Y'all don't know. I know you don't know. No reason why you would know. Most people don't know. It costs about $6 for that extra 300,000. So go home and ask your parents, what's our liability amount on our home? You may want to check with your agent get a little bit more, it don't cost hardly anything. This is a no-brainer. Same thing going from 500, thing, thing going to a million. Be a little bit more than $6 per, but that's my point. Plus you can get another million dollar umbrella that would go over your auto and everything. All right, does that make sense? That's pretty much the biggest parts of homeowners. The other thing is jewelry. You got uh, expensive jewelry or guns or watches or furs. You want to have those scheduled. In other words, insure those items separately from there because you won't have full amount. Dublin's newest and most modern hotel is the Hampton Inn & Suites. Relax and enjoy your stay while near the best in dining, golf courses, and business centers. Start your day with a free hot breakfast. Enjoy our pool, indoor fitness center, and Wi-Fi. Plan your next family reunion, meeting, training session, or social gathering at Hampton Inn & Suites, 103 Travel Center, located by Longhorn and Cracker Barrel. Hampton Inn & Suites by Hilton. Are you ready to book your next party, class reunion, or family reunion, baby shower, or birthday party? Then look no further than the tranquility and natural beauty of Renez Dye Banquets and Events. We're out here today on this beautiful nine acre wooded property full of live oaks and Georgia pines. There's no other place like it anywhere. Renez Dye. Our venue includes a beautiful 6,800 square foot pavilion that can accommodate up to 450 guests, but can be transformed into a beautiful, elegant design that makes this venue like no other. We're conveniently located just one mile off Interstate 16 on Highway 19 and surrounded by the beautiful Lawrence County countryside. Let our team take care of every detail of your next event. At Renez Dye, we'll design, manage, and execute your social events and celebrations that reflect your personality and leave lasting memories for you and your guests long after the event is over. Call us today at 278-1295 or 278-1217. Renez Dye, Banquets and Events, 1827 Highway 19 South, just one mile south of Interstate 16 in Dublin. Now let's talk about something that's exciting. Car. That's what y'all want. That's what's on y'all's mind, right? Car. Car insurance. That's probably the one y'all hear about the most from your parents. You don't hear from them about life insurance. You don't hear from them about, you hear them complain about health insurance a little bit. Premiums are high. Deductibles are high. Blah, blah, blah. That's a mess. Health insurance is a mess. That's why I'm not even getting into it. All right, just know it's a mess. All right, home insurance, something you have, you don't talk about, you don't think about it. Auto insurance, your parents are always on you. You gonna make my insurance go up, right? Dag, I'm right, you are. You did. When you turned 16, you made their insurance go up. So, how much time we got? I didn't pay attention. All right, good, good. All right, so we got a car insurance. What makes up the car insurance? 
Same thing, right? We got the car itself. We got to pay for that car. The more expensive the car, all right, what makes up the rates? What dictates on any particular car is your premium is going to be higher or lower? What dictates it? Is it like what type of car? Type car. A hybrid? Yeah, I can see that because of the, uh, uh, they're a little bit more expensive because of the fuel savings and all that. Uh, the type of car, yeah. A Mustang GT, yeah. You know, a fast car is going to, to be. Also cars that if you Google the most stolen car, that insurance on those top five are going to be more expensive than ones that are least stolen. Damageability. Those that, that receive more damage during an accident, it'll be higher. Those that give more damage will be high. So basically it's all high. Uh, what else? Age. Somebody say age. Age of driver. Color of car? Yeah, that, that's kind of a misnomer. Uh, it certainly may get you more tickets. Uh, a fast red sports car, probably going to get you more tickets. Uh, did I hear somebody say male or female? Yes, sir. Yep. You know, I would probably look at it and say, Knowing some of these guys in here, I'd say eh, the girls probably wouldn't be driving quite as fast. They may be more cautious. They may not be quite as reckless. Now, the girls may be texting and driving a little bit more. So I don't know how, how this uh, statistics, this actuarial science is working out so well on the, the young male, female driver. But either way, both are expensive. All right, so we got the cost of the vehicle, we got the dam damageability, the, uh, the, the high theft, uh, the male, female, what else makes up a driver? Driving rates. Tickets, most assuredly, tickets. Accidents, Accidents most assuredly. What else? Credit, believe it or not. Most insurance are going to credit-based underwriting or rating. Why? Because people with, with bad pay habits or low credit rating are more apt to turn in more claims because they, it's difficult for them to pay for some of them out of their pocket. Ones with good credit ratings generally will go with a higher deductible and they'll pay for the smaller stuff out of their pocket. Somebody with a $1,000 deductible may have a $2,500 accident and may pay for it out of their pocket. Why? To protect their insurance rate, which is very important. Insurance on home, auto, any of this is not maintenance insurance. Okay, It's not for every little thing that goes wrong with it. But most people don't recognize it that way. They look at it, well, if my deductible's $500, somebody tell me what the deductible is. How much you pay? The amount you pay before the insurance company pays anything. So you got a $500 deductible on comprehensive. Somebody tell me what comprehensive insurance is. Comprehensive is the coverage on your vehicle that something happens to it you had no control over. Rock bust windshield, catch it on fire, it gets stolen, uh, you, you hit an animal, tree falls on it. I may have said that. That's comprehensive. Collisions when you collide into something and you damage your vehicle. Liability, and I'm kind of speeding up. Liability insurance is when you hit something and you have to fix what you hit, their car, their mailbox. Uh, their body, 
you injured somebody. Experience the perfect blend of style and comfort at Hunter's Point Luxury Apartment Units. These three-bedroom, two-bath duplexes are beautifully designed with a look of hardwood flooring, modern fixtures, and plenty of natural light. The kitchen is outfitted with stainless steel appliances, beautiful countertops, and cabinetry. And these brand-new three-bedroom, two-bath duplexes are complete with garage. These duplexes are move-in ready. Hunter's Point Luxury Apartment Units. Call K. Grace and Company now at 353-1123 and visit Hunter's Point Luxury Apartment Units, conveniently located on Claxton Dairy beside Springdale Park. This is Parker. Hey there. Paramedic, new truck owner, expert negotiator. She's a beauty, huh? I've been holding out for the perfect deal. Like all smart shoppers, Parker wanted the lowest interest rate available, which is why he chose Robbins Financial Credit Union. Affordable monthly payments and great service make the process easy. I applied right online. With convenient branch locations and all kinds of online tools and services, Robbins really does make it easy. The way it should be. Robbins Financial Credit Union. Better banking for everyone. Let's talk about rates. Y'all want to talk about rates? Sure, sure. Anybody know what y'all's rates are? I'm not going to put anybody on the spot. All right, we have a 17-year-old. No tickets. No accidents. You did better when somebody else was writing up there, not me. All right, driving a... 2017 Camry. 2017, 17 year old, no tickets, no accidents. Good student. What is a good student? They get like a certain amount off. Exactly. About 50% off for a good student, and a good student is B or better. Grade point average. A B or better grade point average will save you about 50% on average per insurance company. All insurance companies are different. So why, other than your mom and daddy just want you to make good because it's the right thing to do so you can go get in college and y'all can start paying your own bills, uh, why, before you get there, being a good student saves big time. Train driver. Y'all don't have to worry about it anymore because you got to be a trained driver. you got to have defensive driving and all what y'all have to go through nowadays to get that. So that also adds a big discount to it. Uh, also, this particular individual is on the parent's policy. All right, they're on the parent's policy. So they got all this going in their favor. They're 17, no tickets, no accidents. 2017 Camry, good students on parents' policies, also a trained driver. Their premium. $805. Every six months. Every six months, $805. Not cheap, not bad price for a 17-year-old. All right. Now, what happens if you don't have all that? What happens if, if you got a few tickets? You got an accident? You're not on your parents' policy. True life situation, both of these. Not using any names to protect the innocents and to protect the not so good driver. <clears throat> all right. 2015, one at fault accident. What's that? One at fault accident where the insurance company paid $50,000. They totaled a vehicle. Okay. Luckily, nobody was hurt. Can you imagine that? They walked away. Nobody was hurt. One at fault. Same day.
Got a ticket for the accident. They did something wrong. I, I don't have what he did. But he got a ticket and an accident all at the same time in 2015. Well, 45 days later, 2015, he got a erratic lane change ticket. He passed on when it wasn't didn't have the passing lane or did something or or was driving and ran off the it just made a quick move. Got a ticket. So what do we got? Got another ticket. Oh, this guy's on a hot straight. 45 days later, 2016, he got a speeding ticket for 21 plus miles over the speed limit. Super speeder. Super speeder. By the way, he's 21 years old. I don't know if he's made it to 22 because his parents probably killed him. And I am saying him. Not that girls don't do the same thing, but this, in this case. Okay, so has he learned his lesson? No. Probably not. Whew. All right, and four months later, in 2016, we're going to call this January, and this is uh, February, I mean uh, April, by the way, this was uh, October, and this was, so what are we looking? In about a six-month span, what did he get? No, he didn't. Tell me he didn't. Tell me he didn't get another super speeder. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. First of all, how many of y'all would still be driving? Probably not. Probably not. All right. The punchline here. The other guy and this guy was paying about that much. What happened? What happened? What happened to this guy? He was on it. I just gave it away. He was on his parents' policy. Insurance company sends a letter. We are canceling your auto policy. That's the parent's auto policy, which has this driver on it. So what do they do? They have one or two choices. Go down with the son, or say son, and ask the insurance company, what if we took him off our insurance? And there's no wink, wink, because when the insurance company agrees that, that you can, we will keep your insurance if your son does not drive your vehicle anymore. You have to sign this exclusion form, meaning that if he drives any of your vehicles and he wrecks them, we will not pay for it. Okay? So they said, okay, we'll do that. Son, you get your own insurance. Parents keep their insurance, it's in force. No problem. Rates didn't go up, even though $50,000 was paid out, their insurance still didn't go up. It followed him. What do you think his premium went to from there? Now that's six months. That's every six months. 2000 is a good start. Y'all are all over it. $2,700 every six months for one vehicle, 21-year-old. How much is that a year? $5,400. $2,700, a year for a 2015 F-150. So, what do we have? Auto insurance. You guys are 17 and 18 years old, right? 
You know what y'all are driving? A lethal weapon. Okay? Not only can it kill you, just as bad as it could kill somebody else. Kill somebody else's child. Somebody else's parent. Grandparent. Brother. Sister. And then all the other insurances come into play. Not just your, to cover your precious vehicle, but to cover the economics and livelihood of your entire family because you will get sued. Your parents will get sued. And if you don't have enough liability insurance, it could cause bankruptcy. It could cause financial disaster. When your parents are telling you all of this, you think about you don't want to hurt somebody. You know, they don't even bring up the economics part. They bring up the economics part of how much that premium is that's costing them every month. But what they haven't hit you between the eyes with is you can financially ruin us. If you go out there and you're texting and driving and you cause a major accident and you kill somebody, even the passenger in your vehicle, your best friend's with you. You have a wreck. It's your fault. And they get killed. Not only did you just kill your best friend, but you're also legally liable for them. And in a lawsuit, you lose. Your parents lose. Well, they were my friends. Yeah, but that was their baby. See what I'm saying? So economics, you're reading it in a textbook. You're learning all about it. Economics is real life. It's finances. It's your life. It's protecting your finances uh, from right now not so much, but y'all are seniors about to graduate in a few months, and you're going to be out in the real world. And a lot of and texting and driving has been hammered into y'all, hammered into y'all, mainly to protect lives, which is t utmost, but it also financial security you of maintaining that financial security within your own family. 